For this assignment, we are going to use the line to create an illusion of texture on a piece of paper. You'll need a ruler. If you have one just like this, that would be awesome. Use it. Pencil and a piece of paper. The reason I want you to use a ruler like this is it's one inch wide. And we're going to do some one inch margins on both sides of the paper. So line your ruler up with the side of the paper. And draw a line down the other side of the ruler. So we have a one inch margin on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now if you're left handed, you're welcome to do the opposite way of what I'm doing in this video. Now you're going to measure every eighth of an inch down each of these lines that you just drew and make a mark. An eighth of an inch, if you have a ruler just like mine, there's 16 little lines between each inch. So that means every two lines I'm going to make a mark. Some rulers just have marks every eighth of an inch, and you can tell if it's that type of ruler if there's only eight marks between each inch. So I'm going to line up the top line with the top of the paper, and then every two lines make a little mark all the way down. I'll do the same thing on the other side, all the way down. And just to save you from getting too bored, I already prepped one of these papers so you don't have to watch me do it. So I've got this ready. These marks are all an eighth of an inch apart. Go ahead and do that on your paper. So pause the video now and come back when you're done. Okay, now that you've done all of those marks, next step is to make five marks across the top of your paper. Evenly spaced, they don't have to be exactly the same distance from each other, but just about like that, all the way across. And then from those marks, we're gonna draw some wavy lines to the bottom of the paper. These lines can be random. They shouldn't be parallel to each other the same. Just make sure they don't cross each other. All right, now you're going to take your ruler and line it up with the top marks on either side in each column and draw a line horizontally on both sides. Move your ruler down to the next mark you made that's an eighth of an inch from the first one and make another horizontal line. You're going to do that all the way down. So this will take a minute. Now I'm not going to make you watch me do that all the way down. So I'll stop here in just a second and show you the next step. All of these steps are below this video on Canvas in still pictures, so you can take a look at them. Okay, we'll say we'll go to about there. Now, starting where this horizontal line meets the vertical line, I'm going to put a dot right there. I'm just going to connect the dots all the way across. Okay, and the next step is to take your ruler. Be sure to use a ruler on this because the straight lines make it look really nice. From the next point where this second horizontal line meets the vertical line, I'm going to draw another line. And I'm using the ruler. And I don't want it to be, all these lines, I don't want to be exactly parallel with the line above them. I want it to be slightly different. So each time I reach one of these wavy lines, I stop, I change directions. When you get to the last wavy line, make sure this next line that you draw connects with the next line down in the last column. So right here, I'm going to put slightly more space between here than here. Then maybe I'll come closer up here. Just need to make sure all the lines connect as they go across. I kind of want to avoid 
a straight line between two or three columns. Try to make every line a little bit different. You want to avoid doing something like this though. If you put a ton of space in there, it's going to create problem problems as you go further down. So maybe not that much. If you want to put some space, maybe stop at about that distance. Don't go any further than that down. Okay, and you're going to continue this all the way down. If you want to just do one column at a time, you can, and then go to the next and the next, or you can just work your way down the whole paper. You should end up with something that looks like this, which is a really cool design. Makes it look like if you were to touch this, you'd feel that texture. So we're creating an illusion by using these lines. When you're finished, take a picture and submit for grading.